Headphones are one of the toughest things to shop for because the form, the fit, the audio quality, they're so personal and also they vary so much across products, even more so with skiing where you have to fit it underneath the helmet. And as anybody who's been skiing with a helmet knows, there's not a whole lot of space there in between the ear flap and the headphone. So picking the right headphone is really important. Now, for me, I've been using the AirPods Pro. This I've had for about a year and a half, and they're fantastic. They work really well. I think the biggest downside that I have with them is the stupid little stem, because sometimes the stem interacts with the ear flap of the helmet and kind of pops itself out of the ear, which is really not something you want with white headphones in snow. Well, so recently, this particular pair of AirPods Pro, they've been sort of crapping out a little bit. The, the uh, left earpiece, it's getting a bit scratchy at times. Some, most of the times it's fine, but there's, there's a good bit of time when it actually starts just going in the ear, it's really annoying. And so I was thinking, okay, do I buy myself another pair or do I look for another pair of headphones that might function better for me? Part of the problem is I really like how these function. I really like how they interact with my iPhone. It's great. It's so seamless. So when I found out that Beats has a Beats Pro headphone, actually designed and made by Apple, right? So it's got the same chipset as the AirPods Pro. So I'm thinking, okay, well, this form factor looks like it would work a little bit better underneath the ski helmet. So I'm trying them out, comparing head to head, Beats Pro versus AirPods Pro, and let's see who wins. <laughs> I forgot to mention, so between the two, the Beats Pro and the AirPods Pro, the retail price of the AirPods Pro is 250 US dollars, the Beats Pro 200 US dollars. Now, both of them are made by Apple, sold by Apple, and they both work really well. And I think the other thing that I would say that's important to consider is the Beats Pro uses a USB-C type charger and it does not support wireless charging. The other factor is this case feels cheap. Not a big selling point. Whereas the AirPods Pro has that satisfying snap when it's open, it doesn't wiggle as much. And although it uses the lightning connector to charge, it also can charge wirelessly. So, huge plus for the AirPods Pro. However, for the skiing, it's kind of tough to beat something that fits nice and flat underneath the ear. So, like I said, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna ski with these, try them out, and we'll see. So right now, I'm wearing the Beats Pro, and the first thing I can say is that the Beats Pro, way better. Fitting underneath the helmet. The AirPods Pro, they have those little, little stems, not as comfortable. But I think the big difference is going to be wind noise. It seems like the AirPods Pro do better with the wind noise. So I'm going to take a couple laps. Um, this time I'm going to go down with the Beats Pro on. Then I'm going to swap out the headphones, put the AirPods Pro on, see how they do. And I'll tell you what I think in terms of which one I like better. Okay, so, skied a couple runs. I've tried it out with both the Beats Pro and also the iPods Pro. And so, let me just 
show. So this is what the Beats Pro look like. And of course, I'm actually wearing the Air AirPods Pro. I'm sure you've seen them, but of course, here's the case, right? And so, in trying them both out with the helmet, now normally on colder weather days, I'll have a balaclava on and by wearing that over, it actually helps protect against the wind noise a lot. But uh, obviously, being such a warm day today, I did not do that. So that's why I've got the headphones just underneath the ear flaps here. One thing I can definitely say, uh, the Beats Pro are far more comfortable underneath the helmet than the AirPods Pro. But the AirPods Pro do have a better audio quality. I, I think I like the way they sound a little bit better. They both function very similar uh, in terms of how they pair with the phone, um, how, you know, the controls, the noise cancellation is very similar. Although I think the AirPods Pro are slightly better with the noise cancellation. Um, between the wind noise though, yeah, neither of them did all that well. So if you are out skiing and you can wear the balaclava because it's warmer, I mean, because it's colder, yeah. I would definitely do that because that cuts out a ton of wind noise. On colder days when I do that, it works every time. But uh, on a day like today, yeah, there's just gonna be wind noise and it's been a pretty windy day. That's why I'm actually out here in a wooded section of the resort. Uh, so, what would I say in terms of which headphones do I prefer? I think I actually prefer the Beats Pro. Um, first off, they're $50 cheaper. They're more comfortable underneath the helmet. And although the audio quality is not quite as good, in my opinion, they just function so well. I can just, instead of having to like reach up to grab the stem of the AirPods Pro, I can actually just tap the side of the ear uh, ear cover and operate the play pause and um, and also when holding it down to switch to noise canceling and and uh, and vice versa. So I think the Beats Pro were the winner. Um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and switch into them now and enjoy the rest of my ski day. So thanks for joining me and hopefully that's helpful to you. Have a great day. I'm the Colorblind Architect. Peace out.